Hi, I'm Alexa and welcome to Sandals and Steel Toes. I am a homesteader and gardener in Northeast Ohio in Zone 6A and I have kept my chickens in my garden all winter. Now you may be wondering why in the world would I keep chickens in my garden? They're gonna eat it, right? They're gonna eat everything in your garden. You can't trust chickens to be in your garden. <laughs> The reason I kept chickens in my garden through the winter is so that they could work for me. Instead of me having to worry about this spring cleaning out my garden, tilling things under, getting the soil prepared, my chickens have been doing it for me for the last six months. Work chickens! Good chickens! Bad rooster. But good chickens! Now, I will admit, the garden is not super glamorous right now. Everything's pretty brown, doesn't look very good, things are messy, I've got supplies and things all over the place, chickens everywhere. It needs a lot of work. But, I will tell you, my soil is looking amazing. I've been practicing using wood mulch on my garden to keep weeds suppressed, to keep moisture in, and adding wood mulch is a way to put nutrients back into my soil. Mixing that along with chicken manure that they are scratching and tilling in for me, I don't have to touch the stuff. My soil is looking fantastic, and I'm really excited how nice it's going to be to plant in this spring. <laughs> So to give you an example, this is one of my raised beds that I covered with wood mulch at the end of last season. And what the chickens have done is they have scratched all through this wood mulch, they have turned it in, and they also like to take their dust baths in here, which is fine. So as we dig down a little bit, I mean, you can just see how rich this is looking. It's nice, it's dark, there's a lot of really good organic material in the soil. <laughs> And not only are chickens pretty cute, but they love to be garden helpers. I cannot be out here working in any capacity without them following me and just wanting to help. As soon as I start digging in the soil, they're right behind me digging with me. If it weren't for them wanting to eat all my plants, they would be very lovely garden companions. What do you think, Deborah? It's a good chicken? They still won't let me touch them. <laughs> so another cool thing about my chickens is where I've been having them live through the winter. Last fall, my husband Carmen and I worked together to build this greenhouse, which is like a very scaled down version of a high tunnel. Uh, we kind of made it our own. I'm not growing for any type of big production here. This is a home garden. We live in town. We're just under three acres of property, but a lot of it is wooded and not so accessible for gardening. So where I have my garden is the flattest area. So we built this greenhouse here to grow food in this summer for our family. Now, how did the chickens come into play with this? Well, the chickens lived in this greenhouse through the winter. This was their coop. You know, we get very cold winters here in Northeast Ohio. For about eight weeks, we had three feet of snow accumulated, and my chickens, they stayed in there predominantly the entire time. Chickens don't like snow. And they did great. So not only are we going to be able to use this in the summertime for growing, but we can also repurpose it and use it through the winter to house our chickens while they do really great gardening work for me. I make my chickens earn their keep, what can I say? But today is a very exciting and important day because my chickens are getting kicked out of the garden and they are going back to their summer home, their summer coop, so I can start to get planting in here, finally. It's still a little chilly, but it's warm enough for the chickens to go back to their summer home, which I'll show you here in a second. And so I'm going to get them all moved out of there, set them up, and get them out of my garden because I started planting things yesterday. And like the good chickens that they are, as I was planting, they were coming in right behind me and starting to scratch and kick, dig up all of the strawberries that I just planted. <laughs> like, thank you chickens for your help, but no thank you, I don't want your help anymore. <laughs> and because I didn't want my chickens digging up all of the strawberries I had just planted, I made this really innovative barrier to keep them out. Doesn't it look nice? We've got a wheelbarrow, some old lattice fencing, my frost covers that are all kind of gotten torn up, a chair? I mean, who came up with this design? 
Gotta give them some credit. Okay, I hope you all know that that's a joke. <laughs> this looks ugly, so I need to get the chickens out of here. But hey, at least we got some of the strawberries planted. They're in there. They're little, but they're there. So this is the chicken summer home. It doesn't look like much, but it worked really good for us last year, and so we're gonna do it again. This coop came from Tractor Supply. It was a kit that we put together, and we painted it, and this is really where the chickens are gonna be laying their eggs. They use this as the nesting box. Yeah, I have 11 hens, one guinea fowl, and a rooster. Well, and so this is a coop shelter thing that we found off Facebook Marketplace, so we bought it. The chickens will sleep in here at night, and they know to go inside, and this works for them pretty good. I think it's really easy when we start to get our homesteads put together, and if you wanna have chickens and... Sir, no, no sir. We're not doing this today. It's coming after me again. See? I'm not doing anything. As homestead and gardener type people, I know it can get easy to get caught up in wanting to have everything that you see in any social media. And at some point, we have to just allow ourselves to do the best we can with what we have. And so while my chicken coop summer home isn't the most glamorous coop there ever could be, it does work for us. It keeps my chickens safe. I can have chickens, so I'm gonna use it. So to get my chickens out of my garden and put them into their summer home, um, it's just a very easy transition. Really all I have to do is move their waterers, move their feed. I'm gonna put fresh bedding back in there and I'm gonna lure them over with snacks. So this is a mix of shredded marigolds and lemon basil from my garden at the end of last fall. I took everything that was left and shredded it up in the blender and made a nice chicken treat out of it. So I'm gonna lure them over with snacks and then basically I'm gonna close the door on the fence and they won't be able to get back into my garden. So hopefully this goes pretty quick. Okay, so it's later on in the day. It rained off and on for a while. I had to go to work. And so now I'm just getting the rest of all the chicken stuff wrapped up and getting them moved out. Pretty much all the chickens are in their new space, except for this one that decides she needs to lay an egg right now. So I'm gonna try and get her out. Hello. This is Michelle O'Brama. Michelle O'Brama, you have to go to your new home. move out day. This isn't even your egg. You didn't lay this. Come on. Out. Go on. Shoo. 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 Go. Okay. Closing the door so no one can get into the greenhouse coop. And this is going to get cleaned out this week. Go on. Go on, Michelle Obrama. Nope. Oh, you're gonna be annoying. Go on. Nope, go with your friends. You can see everyone else is already all over here checking things out. Come on. You're the last one. Good chicken. All right. And this gate gets shut. All right, and officially the chickens are out of the garden. Looks like a mess right now. Well, hi chickens. Got 
got your home. So they got their water, their feed. This is just a little pallet structure they like to sit underneath during the day. They just like to hang out there. So I moved that. Got all fresh hay and bedding in here. So at night this is shut and the back door gets shut and latched and nothing can get them. There's chicken wire all around this. So they're safe in there. They'll use this as their nesting box. Oh, it's you. I put some eggs in there to encourage the ladies to start laying in here again. Yes. Yes. So down here, it's kind of a little wooded area. I gave them a bench, an old bench to sit on so they can hang out on a bench, but I think they're just gonna enjoy the trees. And then back there is a creek, so they have a creek front view. Water view, such lucky birds. They like to hang out on this branch. So they're all fenced in here, and they are happy. Tickets, I bought you treats. <laughs> so you want to eat the marigold seeds? Gimme! Gimme! So I think the chickens transition will go just fine. We do have one more step to do, but we can't do it until tonight. Actually, we have two more things to do. Um, so when they're all getting settled and ready to go to sleep around dusk, um, which is about 7.30 here right now, we're gonna have to come out here and make sure that they all go into the coop to roost for the night. Chickens have to be reoriented to where their home is, where their nest is, and so since they've been in the greenhouse coop for six months, they have to be reoriented back to this house. So we're just gonna have to come out here and make sure everyone goes back to their house, and if they're not going in, we're gonna have to chase and catch them and put them in their house and we'll probably have to do that for the next couple nights um, just to make sure everyone gets back into the routine that that's where they sleep now. And then the other thing we have to do, once we get everyone in there and captured for the night, we need to clip their wing. Last summer, we clipped, uh, I think, their right wing, and so now we're gonna clip their left wing just so that they can't fly over these fences. Um, I don't want them to get it in their bird brain that they can hop over the fence and get into my garden. Um, since they're so used to being in there, we have to make sure that they can't get in there on their own. So we're gonna clip one of their wings um, just to make sure that they can't fly over. And, and that's it. Chickens are back in their summer home with their creek view. And what that means for me is I get to go back in my garden. <laughs> Well, I am super pleased that that's done. All of a sudden my garden seems very void of life. And we're gonna fix that real quick like. So I do have garlic growing in here. There's a little bit of life in there at the moment. Got about 45 uh, strawberry plants in there. So a little bit of life, but now, oh, now I'm just like, ooh, I got work to do. So I'm gonna get all of my brassicas put out, my lettuce greens, kales, and I'm gonna get carrots, beets, and pea seeds sown, direct sown here. Hopefully this week I can get all of that in. It feels like it's been a long time coming. 
I haven't gardened since October. That's when everything kind of got wrapped up. And we're back. April, springtime. So, you know, you always just gotta keep faith that the season will return, the garden will return. And this brown void here will be beautiful, green, lush, and full of life very soon. So stay tuned for more gardening and homestead content here on Sandals and Steel Toes. Please like and subscribe to my channel and do something you love today. We'll talk to you next time, bye. Michelle Obrama over there is a little bit distraught. Poor thing keeps walking up and down the fence trying to get back over here. I think for the next couple days they're gonna all be trying to get back in. But I mean, come on, they have such a cute little setup back there. And it's purple. It's the eggplant. The eggplant is back in business! so excited. Oh, poor chickens. Poor chickens. You can't come back anymore. No more chickens. No more. I think this fence needs something pretty painted on it. Maybe that's a new project for the summer.